In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring custom role groups. So what we get when we install Exchange Server 2016 is we get some pre-created admin roles. And these are represented by Active Directory groups. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to create a custom role group. We're going to add some roles and members then to that role group. So what we've done is we've come to our Exchange Admin Center. We've come to the Permissions node. And within the Permissions node, I've come to Admin Roles. And the next thing I want to do here is click my plus button. And what we're going to do here under new is we're now going to create a new role group. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to give it a name. And I'm going to call that marketing admins. Now, out there in the real world, we'll probably put in a description. Next thing we need to do is we now need to come down here and we need to specify, in the case of our right scope, do we want to go with the default or do we want to base this on an organizational unit? Now, based off this, I've called it marketing admins. So the organization I'm going to specify here will be the marketing organizational unit. And we've got a datum.com forward slash marketing. The next thing we need to do is we actually now need to add some roles. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select plus. And what we want to do here is we want to go for mail recipients and mail recipient creation. And we'll have mail recipient creation and mail recipients. And then what we'll do is we'll just select our OK button. And then we'll scroll down a bit further. And what we want to do here is we want to add a user called Brad. So we'll scroll that down. We'll just find Brad. Nearly there, there's Brad, so we'll add Brad in, and then we'll select OK. Now that's done, next thing to do here is select Save. So now what we've done here is we've given Brad Sutton permission to the organizational unit, marketing, and we've given him mail recipient, and also as well, mail recipient creation permissions, purely to marketing. So what we'll do is now that we've actually created this new role, we'll just come to our Active Directory Domain Controller, and within our Active Directory Domain Controller, I'm just going to do a refresh here on the Microsoft Exchange Security Groups. And what we have is we have marketing admins now sitting in here. I didn't bother putting a description in, left that out. But as we can see, it is a security group. It's a universal security group, marketing admins. We'll just double click on it. And what we can see here when we click on members is we can see we have user Brad Sutton. Now we've done that, we'll just test it. So I'll come to Lonnie X1. In Lonnie X1, all I'll do is I'll log out as administrator. And what we'll do here is we'll sign in as Brad. So at this point here, we'll just go for a date and backslash Brad. And we'll sign in. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll just double click on administrator. Uh, what we can see here is, even though I do have read permissions, I don't have the ability to actually modify anything to do with administrator. So I am trying to type something in there on the street, but as you'll see, nothing's coming in. So any of the tabs, I'm not allowed to manage administrator. He's not a member or she's not a member of organizational unit marketing. So we'll cancel that off there. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just click the plus button. I'm just going to go for user mailbox. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to go for an existing user. We'll browse this through and we're going to go for a user called Aiden. So find Aiden. And as you can see, he's an organization unit managers. We'll select OK. We'll just put him for the alias here, Aiden. And then what we'll do is we'll select save. And we get an error. You're not allowed to do this. Can't perform the save operation. It isn't within your scope. So we'll select OK. Now what we'll do is we'll just change this and we'll change this for a user called Andrew. So we'll browse through at this point here. We'll find our user Andrew. So if we look down here, and we're we'll just looking for Andrew. So what we've got here is we've got Andrew Dixon. Andrew Dixon is a member of the marketing organizational unit. So we'll select OK and then we'll select save. 
And at that point there, we've been able to mailbox enable Andrew Dixon as he is a member of organizational unit marketing and marketing is in our scope. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating a custom role. Thank you.